Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info. So today we're going to be testing out the Thunder Puck from Soundvibe. It uses what they call, and I want to read it off the back to get this straight, a super bass 26 watt vibration driver. And what this vibration driver does is it vibrates whatever it sits on and basically it turns whatever it's sitting on into a speaker. So it doesn't make a whole lot of noise on its own. You have to sit it on a surface and depending on what surface you sit it on, determines what kind of bass properties it has, the high range, the mid range, all that fun stuff. This is the Thunder Puck. There's nothing um, that fancy about it. It's very heavy. Um, it's got a little suction cup here on the bottom. You basically just sit it down on a surface and like I said, it'll turn whatever surface it's sitting on into a speaker. We're gonna drive around town, we're gonna go to some different places and we're gonna set it on some different things so you can kind of get an idea about how this thing works, how loud it can get, and what kind of sounds you can expect from it. So, let's get going. So, we're testing the Thunder Puck in the car. And if you have a look, it's sitting on my dashboard. The sound is not terrible. Like if you were on a road trip and your phone, or your car was not working, your car stereo is not working, you want to use your phone. It's not bad. It's not quite as bass heavy as if it was like coming out of a door or out of the back of your car through a subwoofer, but it's not bad. I would say it's definitely uh, serviceable. Okay, so heading into the Walmart here to um, set this thing down on a few surfaces and see what we got. So we're trying it on a treadmill. Now the treadmill is not on the ground, it's sitting off the ground up on a shelf, so. It's not a, like a stable surface or a full surface. I think that's causing it to not have a very full sound, okay? But I mean, you can still tell what it is, for sure. Okay, so now we have it just on a metal shelf. Once again, it's not like perfectly connected to the ground. It's on like a suspended surface. So I think that's affecting the sound a little bit. There's also music going on in the store, so it's actually kind of tough to hear. There's definitely a sound. It's not a bad sound, um, but it's not a real full, rich sound either. Let's try something that's, you know, like actually like completely connected to the ground. It's definitely a fuller sound on the cooler down here. Um, once again, there's there's music going on in the store, so it's not, you know, super loud. It's, you're having trouble hearing it over the sound of the, the store music, but it's definitely a fuller sound down here for sure. Let's try a couple other different things and we'll see if we can't get the uh, volume to come up a little bit. Dang. Upside down dog bowl. Dang. Yeah, that works well. Okay, so on the trunk of the car, All these at full volume. It's not as good. I thought it'd be better than this. It's a little empty, uh, maybe because it's an empty trunk. Um, not super loud. Like if you were outside listening to this on a windy day, like it kind of is today, I'm not sure the sound quality is quite loud enough or good enough for this application. Virtually no sound out of here, which makes sense. This is a porous material. The little suction cup on the bottom is not getting real good suction. And I mean, this is just a big hunk of non-vibrating material. So uh, you're basically getting very, very little sound out of this. It basically sounds the same as if you hold it in your hand. And when, like you hold it in your hand like this, where the vibration doesn't have anywhere to go, there's very little sound that comes out of here. That's nice. It's clear, it's got good bass. That's probably the best sound we've got yet. Right, now we're talking. See, and finally what we're getting is something loud. We've had trouble getting things to be loud. Yeah, that's crazy. That's super loud. And the sound, it's a little hollow. But it's not bad. Here, let's keep rolling. Let's just switch it up to here. Interesting. It's not as loud 
but the sound is better. It's definitely a fuller, richer sound. It's not quite as loud, but I think I actually like this better. This is also super loud. Sounds pretty good too. Not quite as much bass again, because once again, I think because we're suspended here, but it's, it's, I can feel that on the floor a little bit. Can you feel on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, I can feel on the floor. So yeah, I actually feel like, once again, that's, that's pretty good. Having a lot of success indoors. Can you hear that vibration? See, that's because these are, these are empty. Or not very full, they're hollow, so. Yeah, you're getting a lot of Excess vibration, which is causing it's loud, but the sound quality's not that good. On the toilet, it's not bad. Not a lot of bass. I thought there'd be more bass on the toilet, but it's loud. It sounds pretty clear. What if we put it on the seat? That's, <laughs> that might be the best place to put this yet. So, if you get a thunder puck, get yourself an extra toilet and put it on the toilet. So after spending a day with the thunder puck, what are my thoughts? My thoughts are, it's pretty cool. Um, it does turn whatever you put it on basically into its own speaker. What you set it on does greatly change what it sounds like. So. You know, whether you have it sitting on metal, wood, the size of the object, all that stuff matters. Interestingly enough, I feel like the smaller the thing you set it on, the louder it is, which I guess makes sense because if it's smaller, it can reach through more of the object. The vibration can maybe get through more of the object and that's why it's louder. But I was a little surprised by that. As far as the volume goes, I feel like it's loud enough for smaller rooms, maybe even bigger rooms if you set it on the right object. The sound quality can be very, very good depending on what you sit it on. I don't know that it gets loud enough for really large rooms or large rooms with a lot of background noise. And I certainly don't think it's probably loud enough to be used outdoors. At least if there's any kind of wind, as you saw when we were like at the playground, we had trouble hearing it when you got too far away. Even when we set it on the objects that it worked really well on, like the slide. This is $100. Is it worth it? for $100. I would say if you're somebody who likes showing off your tech at all, if you like anything novel at all, then yes, it's definitely worth the $100 for sure. If you're just looking for a great Bluetooth speaker for $100, you would probably get something a little louder and a little bit more consistent than this. So if you're, if you're somebody who's just completely pragmatic, you're an audiophile, and you just want something that works, that gives you the best bang for your buck, this may not be the best purchase for you, but like I said, it does work. It works pretty well. If you want a conversation piece, like when people come over to the house, this thing is great. Or even if you know you want to bring it over to somebody else's house. I think that's the other nice thing about it is it is pretty small. Take it with you. Bring it wherever you go. It's just fun to actually take it with you and try it on different things. It's almost like a little science experiment in your pocket. Personally, I really enjoyed it. I think some of you will too. I will put a link down in the description of where to find this thing. I don't get anything from that link. I'm not affiliated with these guys in any way, so I'm not trying to sell you anything. If you don't want it, don't get it. But if you are interested in it, I will include a link down below for your convenience. So those are our thoughts about the Thunder Puck. If you have any questions, please put those down in the comments. Or if you yourself own a Thunder Puck or another vibration sound device like this, mention that down in the comments. Let us know what your experiences are with it. Let's help other people make some more informed decisions. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.